Uh, yeah, the next speaker is Zhao Zhao Wan uh, Zhao Wan Gong. Uh, so Dr. Gong uh, obtained his PhD in chemistry from the University of Miami, studying spin dynamics in liquid state nuclear magnetic resonance with Prof. Uh, Jamie Walls. Uh, currently, he is a postdoctoral researcher with Dr. Mustafa Bourara at the uh, National Institute on Aging, where his research, research focuses on fast QMRI with advanced pulse sequences and machine learning. Um, can you hear me right? Yes. Oh, okay. Perfect. Uh, can, can you see the slide? Uh, yes. Right. Um, Good morning. Um, I would like to thank the organizer for selecting my uh, abstract. And uh, I would uh, uh, thank everyone for listening to my talk. My talk is about rapid mining mapping through neural network relaxometry of extremely undersampled uh, MAC uh, baseball data, as my um, PI just mentioned. Um, let's go ahead. Uh, so, um, as, uh, as now, you should already know uh, mining is quite important and uh, we actually can probe mining content with MRI. Uh, traditionally, we can probe that with um, multiple component relaxometry of the transverse magnetization by collecting uh, echo data and we can segment the shorter T2 component to attribute to mining water and that presents the mining um, sort of integrity and content and uh, we can use that to produce this kind of mining water map. So traditionally, uh, uh, if you think about transverse relaxation, the first thing comes in mind, of course, is spin echo. Uh, that's how we use to um, per, um, sort of study the transverse relaxation property. And a uh, uh, conventional method uh, to measure mining water fraction is actually based on multi spin echo sequences as shown here, you acquire a bunch of uh, spin echo image and different TE and uh, different components of uh, in, in, inside a vessel, su such as mining water and uh, extra uh, intracellular uh, water will decay differently. Uh, unfortunately, the signal is actually a sum of all those decaying signal. Then you have this kind of EO post mathematic problem to solve. Um, and you have to invert this the signal to get the mining water fraction of, of your interest. And uh, this posed a lot of problem. First of all, it's this kind of method is very susceptible to noise and experimental errors, such as field inhomogeneity, for example, B1 and B0. And uh, it's quite challenging to do the post-processing post to figuring out the mining water fraction. And uh, as Dr. Rowley mentioned, uh, in the early time, it's quite time consuming to acquire even a single slice. Um, in, in our group, we are very interested in fast MRI sequences for mining water mapping. Um, one come to mind is multiple component driven equilibrium single pulse observation of T1 and T2, or we call it a MAC despot. This method actually combine um, SPGR and BSS, BSF, sorry, BSSFP based fast image uh, obtained and different sleep angles. So your initial excitation pulse uh, will be different sleep angle. In our practice, we usually use 10 different sleep angles. Uh, MacDespa is experimentally very efficient. As a matter of fact, we can get whole brain uh, mining water imaging high resolution coverage in like 21 minutes. Um, but it's very it's numeric, numerically hard to invert the equation and get the uh, fraction of your interest. Here is showing the uh, crazy equation, um, and uh, this is the um, parameter of interest we're interested to to obtain. So it is quite challenging to uh, estimate such a high dimension system with so many parameters um, flowing around. Um, so this has been developed by my PI. Um, um, so this is, as I mentioned, it's in the Beijing frame. So by using this method um, compared to the traditional method of, of this nonlinear least square analysis, the BMC Mac desktop um, is highly stable. You can say you have a peak um, PDF. So um, the method is stable. And as he showed before, it's uh, rolled to noise as uh, showing here. So, um, um, so as 
I have to say with all due respect, because this is developed by my PI, this um, BMC Mac Decimal Master uh, still have some um, drawback. It's com computationally slow, and uh, it actually does not tolerate um, um, data under sampling, even though it tolerates uh, signal nodes SNR. I will show you exactly what I mean. Does, it, does, it does not tolerate data under sampling. And uh, I actually have a testimony from the author himself, and uh, this is the message he wrote in his processing code, encouraging us to have a dinner because this takes forever. So uh, I want to show you exactly how um, BMC MacDespot does not tolerate data under sampling. Um, if we take only two flip angle instead of acquiring 10 flip angle to do this mining water, mining um, water, water fraction mapping, we will say the first. Um, a is the AD subject and B is a healthy subject. And the first row is the reference mining water fraction derived with 10 flip angle. And the second row is derived from two flip angle. And the third row is the absolute differences map. Um, we can say this um, BM systemic despot just completely failed to produce any meaningful mining water fraction maps from this extremely undersampled two flip angle data set. That's usually how you know two flip angle is. Of the minimal you need to figure out the parameter of decaying. If we are um, trying to be a little bit more generous using three flip angle, we say, okay, some pattern emerged. We can kind of say um, maybe there's some region that has a little bit higher mining, uh, which kind of corresponding to the reference map, but it's still not that great. If we're being more generous using four, um, four flip angle, keep in mind more flip angle you acquire, the longer the acquisition you need. So the longer the patient has to stay in the scanner. And um, with four flip angle, we can say the demanding nation region actually start to um, show, like here, if you compare to the reference, uh, and most of the error, but most of the error are still underestimated as, you sh as showing here, this healthy uh, subject, uh, it's supposed to have a lot of mining, but it's um, heavily underestimated. So what do we do? Of course, a, um, Mm, neural network is kind of the, the general um, sort of wish granting genie that uh, always come to rescue. Um, neural network has been widely used in mining imaging. Um, this has been demonstrated in Dr. Noli's group with this two excellent paper, and also in Dr. Lee's group with um, those two excellent paper. Um, this is not an exact um, exhaustive list. And uh, recently there is a paper um, using um, using sort of synthetic um, mining water fraction data to try to recover the T2 distribution. So all those previous works are excellent demonstration of the power of neural network, but um, then we thought, okay, uh, we, people have done excellent work improving the sort of processing speed and stability of estimation. Uh, we should try to accelerate the data acquisition with the help with the help of neural network. So um, this is so we, we want to train a very, very deep neural network. And this has um, been proposed before with the help of something called residual network. Um, I want to bring your attention here. This kind of bridge from skipping those three layers act kind of like a um, information highway. So you can pass this through without actually going through the layers. So you actually simplify your, um, your model and that, that actually helps you to train a very, very deep neural network effectively. So we use this kind of RISLIC um, building block. We have this very, very deep neural network that is roughly, I think like 20 layers. So you have to go through a bunch of layers uh, usually people think the deeper you go, uh, the more ability for you to processing like complicated equations. Um, so we call this neural network reduxometry of extremely undersampled data and reused uh, because this is actually a proposed uh, network. So we, we kind of uh, have a pun here, it's reused. And uh, this deal with both, um, you can use either your 10 flip angle full data set uh, or you use extremely undersampled two flip angle data set passing it through and uh, we'll both be able to estimate mining water fraction quite stably. So here is, we use and uh, reused to estimate mining water fraction for only two flip angles. If you look at this, um, 
the image looks quite nice. It's actually way better than the one we use BMC to deal with four flip angle, if you remember. And uh, you can clearly see um, the demyelination region compared to a reference map. And look at the absolute difference map, um, the error is substantially reduced. And trying to be more generous with three flip angle, you get more improvement. And four flip angle, uh, you clearly recover like the patterns of demyelination and the patterns of um, in the healthy subject, the, the highly myelinated region that's showing compared to the reference. And if your patient is such a nice person and allow you to actually acquire 10 flip angle, um, you can say um, the uh, reuse model almost fully recover what BMC MacDespot can do. And uh, the uh, error, the absolute error map here is just considerably smaller. And uh, we also want to show you the sort of quantitative um, analysis of this, of this um, method if you use an reused um, from two flip angle. This is a correlation of the reference mining water fraction and estimated water fraction. It's almost a perfect uh, y equal to x line. And this is the atom bladder plot. And you can see the error is not that large. And again, with more acquisitional flip angle, the error get reduced. The line get even closer to equity. And um, this is a four flip angle. And if you are looking at uh, 10 flip angle, if you have time to acquire that much data, it's a perfect um, linear line. And the error is roughly like 0.5% compared to the reference masses. Um, that summarizes my talk. Um, I think this uh, reuse model for the accelerated fast MRI sequences for mining imaging and the post the post-processing speed has been reduced to 30 seconds compared to those uh, 30 hours of BMC MacDOS this talk that my PI encouraged you to have a dinner. And um, the whole burn high resolution acquisition has decreased to seven minutes compared to 21 minutes. I do want to point out in the seven minutes, there was four minutes of acquisition of B1 map uh, that was um, sort of quite old technology with uh, the new newer method of acquiring B1 map we think that can be reduced to one minute. And uh, uh, together, we think it's promising to acquire this in only uh, four minutes. And beyond that, uh, with uh, MC Despot, we also get the information of T1, T2, proton density, B1, B0 map. And uh, in four minutes, we actually can acquire a very impressive amount of QMRI data. And uh, again, uh, we use excellent recover mining water fraction for undersampled MEC Despot data. And with that, I would like to thank my PI, my former uh, lab member. This work has been initiated by Nikki. Uh, she is in Yale now. Uh, I took this over, and uh, we're hoping to um, push this to a lot of other uh, modalities we want to study. With that, uh, I thank you, and I work on your feedback and questions. Thanks a lot, uh, Mr. Gong. Uh, so, Aurelia, are there any uh, questions in the chat? So there is none at the moment, but I do have one. Uh, so I was wondering, did you also tested your model on other types of brains? So for example, would they generalize as much for like MS patients or other types of pathologies? Uh, so that, that was our consideration, right? So, um, but um, the, the, the study where we draw the data out is kind of um, more facing to like normal agent and cognitive um, normal per people there there are few um, patients that is um sort of suffer from dementia and alzheimer so they are in the training data set um so but they're not a lot so we were concerning that um this training data set may not be able to generalize to other sort of um patients but we did test it we tested here with uh ad patient and we clearly say it recover all the demyelination patterns. So we think the model itself uh, should be able to deal with that because um, the model only concerning with sort of your signal. So it's a voxel-based message. Um, so it doesn't consider uh, sort of like brain structure. We didn't took that information, specifically trying to avoid the, the like the less generalizability. So um, we think if we can get a hand into other data set, we can try to further validate the, this model. 
Great, thank you. Uh, there is no other question right now in your chat. Okay. Thank you.